Andy from Recreate Arts Initiative. Thanks for tuning in to our very first webcast that we'll be recording live here at our location uh, in front of a studio audience. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very excited to have you all here tonight. Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> what we are planning to be the first of many webcasts that we do here at Recreate, featuring some of our favorite local performers. Uh, tonight's featured performer is Lancaster-based trio Electives, who I have affectionately dubbed our house band here at Recreate because of their regular presence in our yearly lineup. So I want to thank, thank them very much for their time and <laughs> generosity and the talent for supporting Recreate since the very beginning. So uh, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to have a short performance and followed by a very short little interview and then a little more music. So, without further ado, please welcome Electrics. <laughs>
Yes, we're here at Recreate today with the uh, Lancaster-based trio Electives. And uh, I'm just going to introduce them uh, on the end here. We have Ian Schaefer on guitar, Josh Gusadis on bass, and Stu Bradley on drums. Stu! Thanks for coming out tonight, you guys. Appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I guess I'll ask my first question is, how did you guys uh, get started? How did you meet up? Okay, going back four years, probably four and a half years, mm -hmm. I was in a band called The Private Press. It was a duo. Um, we had just finished an, an album, and we wanted to do the next set material with a full band. And I was already in a band with Stu, a band called Trio Agave. And we met this joker, Josh, and I convinced him to come try playing some bass with us. And, uh, convinced me. That's what we. That's sort of how it got started. <laughs> that's the short version. We, we, had, we had to offer him beer and steak to, make, to, to get him to come to practice. Okay. <laughs> so how long have you been together now? Almost five four, years. Four, about five, something. Almost, yeah, almost between five. four and five years. But, but yeah. it sounds like we've been together for about a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. You guys are fabulous. Oh, we've been face to face friends for a lot longer, though. So one thing I love so much about your music is, is its complexity and how the rhythms change. And, I don't know, it's just everybody has their own spectacular piece in this band and it's the combination of you three that just comes together so well. So, can you tell me some of your influences? Musically? Go. <laughs> Go, Josh. Uh, deadly Radon Gas. <laughs> um, the, the gas or the band? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know, um, a lot of the sh mid-90s Chicago stuff, uh, oh. stuff that would be unfortunately characterized as post-rock, um, tortoise, tortoise, yeah, sea and cake, mogwai, mogwai, I really, I think that was, it was our love of that that really started to solidify things. Mm -hmm. Not that it's a reference that most people don't recognize anymore, but no. yeah. But it, it, it's it's um, I mean we we have a lot of different things that we like to listen to, um, like a lot of soul music and a lot of bossa nova. Minutemen. And Minutemen, yeah. And, um, yeah, it, it, just a ton of different things. I think it's yeah. obvious that your uh, influences are wide and varied. You know. Yeah. And it shows through in the playing. I think that's awesome. You know, diversity is amazing. What makes it interesting? Yeah. Am I right? You yeah. are right. <laughs> hey, what's next on my list here? We all, we like weird music. We do like yeah, we do weird like weird music. music. Yeah, I get I, we get bored easily. So, weird music is like our fidget spinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how would you categorize your own music? We're, 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 this is this is the dumbest part because I'm trying to trying to explain <laughs> trying to explain what we do to someone. Um, uh, we, we it's all instrumental. Uh, we'll eventually we we, we eventually going to work with other uh, artists, uh, come, uh, vocalists and guitarists, and other instruments to come in uh, and do yeah. do projects together. But the core of it is basically to try to 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 to, to play good music without. Uh, playing a particular style of music. We like to, to switch styles mid-song instead of going, oh, let's, let's do a bluesy one, let's do a jazzy yeah. one. We try to, to switch them up and, and make it make it interesting, keep people on their toes. So you really need to, to uh, you know, don't know what to expect. That's kind of what we're going for. Which is challenging with instrumental music. I mean, instrumental music is already challenging for the music consumer. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, adding that complexity, as you call it, we, does it make it? It's not for everyone, I guess, is what I'm saying. You know? <laughs> we get called a surf rock band a lot. Really? Which it's a touch point for yeah, any, any I mean, three piece band that has a guitar with a lot of reverb on it. People yeah, call and, it surf music. And we're in all, all, all three right. of us have, have have a history of playing playing surf surf rock. So yeah. you know uh, something that that comes naturally. It's know? some it's something we we really shrank from initially because. I don't necessarily know that we are a surf rock band. Like right. it just it it just seems like one yeah. touchstone of many. It seems for to us. me like you like your your home base is jazz, 
and then you spread out from there. That's, yeah. that's how I yeah. look at it. Or, yeah. Yeah. I that scares me a little bit because I'm, none of us are yeah. what I, you would call I trained. I think we're just categorized as, as, as hardcore metal. I think that's <laughs> 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 All right, so you guys touched upon, you know, what you're shooting for with the music, changing up styles and stuff in the middle of the song. So how did your writing process work? Um, you Josh piece? tells us what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So no, um, we've got, there are a couple different ways. Um, mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten what will happen is one of us will come with a, a tiny little piece of something and then the rest of us will be enamored with it and turn it into something bigger. Basically, I tell him, keep playing that and don't stop until I tell you to stop. And that could be 15 minutes. Yeah. So I can well, figure, so figure out what I want to do. Come again with the yeah. initial idea and then kind of jamming and playing around with it until it develops into something. We start to feel the, the oh, this, this feels like it's going to go into this yeah, part. The and then, and then once, once we have that down, we change it completely to mess ourselves up, you know, and, and, and go, <laughs> let's make a, a dead stop right here and then go into like a jazzy thing or go into a, 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 a bossa nova. But uh, the interesting thing to me is that we have one of two paths as far as that happening. Either we'll, we'll get the song in one evening and we'll be super excited about it or it'll languish for two and a half years before it finally <laughs> pulls together. There's no in-between with any of that. I think that's probably true of any uh, creative process. Some things they just happen and some yeah. labor over for forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, I think uh, uh, someone once said that the, the creative process is really putting out something terrible and then criticizing it until it's worth worth showing, you know? <laughs> I don't think that's really how the quote goes. I'm paraphrasing. I think that was, uh, actually, it was a Dr. Seuss. <laughs> okay, well, moving on. And being able to have a sense of humor about it, we don't take it too seriously. I mean, we're serious about it, but we enjoy and have fun with that process. And don't get all, we don't get all knotted up about it, except that one time. Yeah, there was that one time. <laughs> I actually know what you're talking about. I know about. you do. No, it, it, I, I, I've constantly said, you know, because we've done a lot of, uh, of very fun and interesting things with this band, but hands down, the single most energizing and fun moments in this band are when we write a new song. Absolutely. It's not, it, it's not playing in front of people. It's not, it's not any other stuff. It's that moment of writing a new song and knowing that we've got something really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. awesome. If it gives us energy, we assume Here? it's going to spread. <laughs> <laughs> we assume. We have no idea. I'm sure we, right. we drop plenty of bricks out there. <laughs> Let's do some polka. <laughs> no, not tonight, not tonight. Stu, <laughs> I love when you do air guitar because it's so completely incongruous. Right. <laughs> air guitar? <laughs> <laughs> you look like Bill and Ted. <laughs> it's excellent. <laughs> All right, well, I want to give some thoughts to it because I know you guys have tons of other projects that you were working on. In addition to playing together in electives, so stay busy. Who wants to uh, have some plugs here for plugs. your other project? Plugs. Plugs, plugs for projects. What's your what's your, what's your Twitter uh, name so they can find you? No way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'd rather give you the keys to my house. <laughs> well, Stu, you go. You've got you've got stuff going right, All right now. Um, travel. What travel? You play with Chuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Remember him? Uh, I'm terrible at uh, self-promotion. Um, well, let, with... let me help you. All right. Stuart uh, here is quite the creative chameleon. Uh, 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 yeah. Right? Am I right? <laughs> creative. I mean, you're a painter, you're a filmmaker, yeah. you're a musician, yeah. accomplished drummer. Yeah. yeah. Played yeah. several different yeah. projects. <laughs> so, I do that. I do that. Be sure to check out Stewie's podcast. Yep. Do a little bit of everything. 
Yeah, um, it's true. Uh, uh, comedy. I do. I, I did a comedy podcast for a while. It was a conspiracy podcast, so no one listened to it at all. <laughs> but I thought it was entertaining for me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, but uh, I, I I try to to divide my time up between uh, uh, art, music, and um, video production. I've been I've been sitting on a, a movie script since since uh, art school. And uh, have never done anything with it, and I think it might transform it into a, a comic. But uh, uh, if time allows, in the meantime, I'm working in a library trying to pay the bills uh, with a part-time job. That you know, I'm essentially a glorified volunteer, but uh, I love I love working at the library. It's fun. There you go. Yeah. Now ask Josh? Joshua about what himself. What are you doing, Josh? Uh, do you want to give me some hints? <laughs> like it did with Stu. Well, you have a fan called Wayward and Down? I do? Okay, yeah. I, I have a, uh, I've seen them. Once. <laughs> I do have another band called Wayward and Down. Um, it's mostly a... Well, at the moment, it's mostly a, a recording project slash social hour for the four of us. Um, and I, I play guitar and I do some singing in that band and... It's been around a lot longer than this band has, and it's one of those it's one of those things that, regardless of whatever it's doing or not doing, it's just kind of become a, a, a thing that's dear to the four of us. So we, we hope to work with Paul and Sally in the future. Yeah, um, we've got these uh, this couple, Paul and Sally. They're in a band, a honky tonk band called Happy Sally, and we. Played with the two of them. We did three cover songs for a review uh, several months ago. And we were extremely happy with the results of that. And we kind of just decided, well, the five of us should get together and do like a offshoot kind of thing. So we've... It's nascent. Yeah, it, it really hasn't become much of anything, but it's definitely something that we continue to talk about and... We're Super really fun band, Happy Sally. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty proud. Happy Sally. Absolutely. All right. Ian, how about you? Have you got anything going on down there? Hmm. Ian's also a. You're into artist. blood diamonds. Yeah, visual artist. Yeah. Yeah. A I'm a visual artist. That's true. At artist. times, at times, one engraver. Used to be a letterpress printer, but that's a whole other chapter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I record and produce other bands as sort of a side thing. Uh, from time to time, I've actually recorded a couple of, help, or co-produced a couple of metal bands lately, which is a tw twist, I'm sure, for some people. Like, what? He does that. Um, but it's tons of fun for me. Um, I'm in the process of building my own studio right now, um, partly to record our next effort and do some other things. Well, that leads me into my next question. Okay. What's okay. next for Elective? Ah! Yeah, so, there's a new so, yeah. CD coming. We have a project started. Um, how many How many things did we record? Nine? Ten? We recorded eleven, but it's probably going to be nine. Okay. So, a, f a few months ago, we went to the studio and recorded some stuff. Uh, it's a little more energetic than our previous recording. Still has some of those jazz elements, but definitely more rock and roll. Um, and we've played some of those songs tonight. We, um, we, we think of it as micro-aggressive. Micro-aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you're going in that direction? Uh, this time. Just, just this, time around. This time. Yeah. This time. Um, working with a great producer, Dave Patterson, at his studio, um, which is in the area. Um, but right now, we only have drums and bass in the can. Um, and the holidays came up, and it kind of just shut down the project a little more than we had hoped, and another a couple of other complications. So the onus is on me right now to get back in and do my guitar work. <laughs> uh, so we don't have a release date for that, but it's so it's think of this at twenty twenty sometime. Twenty twenty, come on. Uh, we were just talking the other night. We're at that point, and I think this happens with a lot of musicians. Once you do some, spend some time in the studio. What you really want to do is start writing music again, but the reality is, I can't fill my head with a whole lot more writing until this yeah, project that, is further along. That, right, right. You know? Yeah, 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 sure. sure. It, one hurdle at the time. Yeah. 
it, it's it's a very interesting process for me because this is the first time that I've been in a project that went on to the second album phase of its life. <laughs> That's all I got for you guys. Awesome. Have anything else you would like to add? Uh, I do want to throw out a quick plug in. Uh, I've, I've been playing with uh, Joe Olnick, who is a really great uh, ambient jazz funk guitarist. Uh, and he's, he's, cool he's, stuff. Yeah, he's coming out with really neat stuff. He's one of the people that we hope to work with in the future. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, he's, he, he, he'll, he'll, he, uh, very few people can play uh, a guitar with a, a power drill and really get the, 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 the subtle, <laughs> subtle, <laughs> subtle <laughs> harmony. <laughs> but, very fun stuff. Very cool. He's and the Eddie Van Halen of power to tools. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think this, is, this was it. We sort of came out of the holidays with not too much on the calendar, but it, things will start filling up again soon. Well, that's fantastic because we have one exclusive performance of electives happening in the future. That's on February 2nd February here 2nd. at Recreate Arts Initiative. First Friday. First Friday, February. 7.30 to 9.30. We'll be there. We expect all of you people to come back. <laughs> all of you people. <laughs> I'll be right. early. These guys will be late. That's how it goes. Remember? It's usually <laughs> how it goes. Musicians. Musicians. <laughs> all right. Well, um, Thanks, how about we hear some more music? Yeah. Thank you for okay. this opportunity. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, thank you fun. guys. Yeah. Again, for all your support.
the new direction. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>
song we've been closing our shows with for quite a while, actually. Mm -hmm. Like a couple of years now. It's a closer because it makes you want to go away. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Where can we find you guys? Yeah. 